Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we want to start out by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakhakadash. Double honors to those apostles, bring most of their will, peace, and blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom and the Baba Ball. Shalom. Back up with another scene. <clears throat> Spirit of power of Yahweh, by Shemel Shai. Lord willing, this video was edifying. And we're just going to do a uh, Lord willing, uh, straight to the point lesson on having confidence in the Lord, man. So let's go ahead and start with this first precept. All right, <clears throat> because in these times you're gonna need confidence in Yahweh Shmuel Shai, you know, to thrive, man. All right, and ultimately confidence in Yahweh Shmuel Shai comes from what? Proverbs 14 and 26. In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence, that's right. and his children shall have a place of refuge. That's right. All right, so in the fear of the Lord, that's where strong confidence comes from, man. All right, and having confidence is what's gonna help you in these times, man. When everybody's feeling, when everybody's scared and afraid of the judgments at hand. All right, the men of the Lord are going to have boldness in the day of judgment because their their love is made perfect in Yahweh through his fear, man. That's right, bro. You know? All right, but yeah, you heard what the brother says. Scripture says the fear of the Lord, man. Yeah, the fear of Yahweh Shai. All right, even the scripture tells you that a man with uh, less wisdom but have the fear of the Lord is better than a man that have a lot of, roughly paraphrasing, all right, that has a lot of wisdom but doesn't have the fear of the Lord, man. Right. You got to fear your Yahweh Shai, man. And those brothers, we come in that light manner, man. God. And we want to be able to have uh, uh, boldness in the day of judgment, man. That's right. You know, to know that Yahweh Shemel Shai got us and the Lord with us. You know what I'm saying? Now, um, Baba Krell, let's get the next one. I got you. The water. I'll get the one after it. Come on. So, Lockie, this is um, 2 Maccabees, chapter 15, verse 7. And it reads... But Maccabeus had ever sure confidence that the Lord would help him. All right? It's all right. ever sure confidence, man. All right? And, and, and that's what we want with your how about Shemel Shah in the times to come. All right? Because, hey, man, we come into some troublesome times, man. Uh -huh. All right? Hey, just like how the scripture says, a man flee from a lion, then a bear mid him. Right. All right? Uh, then, you know, lean his hand upon the wall, then a snake bit him. It's going to be tribulation upon tribulation. We're going to need your how about your mouth in the times to come. And that's why, hey, we want to be confident in that day. But how do we prepare ourselves, man, with these scriptures, man? Ultimately, what? Fearing your how about your mouth first, all right? But, hey, we want that what? We want ever sure confidence, man, that the Lord will help us in these times to come. Right, because what was going on in that story, the coming of the heathen, Esau, the heathen nations, they was about to roll on the Maccabees, all right, try to put them to death. And Esau, he's going to roll again in these times, man. All right. <clears throat> when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard upon him, man. That's right. But the scripture say in Sirach, the second chapter, that for them that are faint hearted and they don't believe in Yahweh Shai, they're not going to be defended, man. So mm -hmm. confidence ultimately is being able to have strong belief in Yahweh Shai's ability, man. You know, knowing that the Lord got your back and the Lord got your best interest, even if it might seem like all the chips are stacked against you, you know, at the back of your mind, front, back, left side of your mind, right side of your mind, Yahweh got you, man. That's right, brother. All right, that's why it says in Isaiah 33 and verse 6, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, man. Right. Stability meaning what? We're going to have emotional stability in these times through the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh Shemel Shai, which starts with fear, man. That's why it's for say fear in the fear of the Lord is strong confidence, man. That's right, All right, boy. we're going to have that emotional stability in the times of trouble, man. You know, because we're going to have that confidence in the Lord, Abu Radizah, we continue to fear him and do that which is pleasing in his sight. And we're going to see him sue himself strong on our behalf, man. That's right, yeah. And the mm -hmm. Lord got us, man. Yep. All right? And that's why, hey, we should not doubt. All right? Doesn't right. it tell you in uh, Sirach, the second chapter? All right? It says, um, um, 2 and 12 or 2 and 13? Uh, Sirach, chapter 2, verse 10. Uh, start look, there. All right? Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? All right? So, hey, man, if you're doing what the Lord is asking you to do, all right, the Lord is going to be with you, man. And that's how we, we know, man, your how about Shemel Shah is going to be with us, man. The Lord is going to provide and guide his men in the times to come. But you have to believe. And that's why, hey, you need to have faith, man. All right? All right, I got this precept. You got more on no, that? No, go ahead, brother. No, continue on. No, go ahead. On. No, uh, go down all the way to verse 13. Go to verse 13? Yeah, 12 and 13. All right. Um, Let's rock two. This is Sirach chapter 2, Jonah down to 12. Yeah, come on. Woe, woe be to f fearful hearts and the fate hands, 
and the sinner that go of two ways. Right. So those who don't have, those who have fearful hearts, meaning what? They fear things outside of Yahweh Shemashai because they lack that spiritual confidence, man. Mm. Woe unto you, meaning destruction is going to come unto you. Ultimately, why? Because you're going to have confidence in the Lord because you fear him, man. That's a that's a byproduct of the fear of the Lord, having that confidence that Yahweh Shemashai got you, man. But if you don't have that fear of the Lord, you're not going to have that confidence in that day. You're going to lack faith. And in return, you're not going to be defended, as the scriptures say. Go ahead. That's right. Woe unto him that is faint-hearted, for he believeth not. Therefore, he, therefore shall he not be defended. Right, man. Ooh. Right. So if you faint-hearted, you ain't going to be defended, man. And that's why you need to believe, man. Ooh. All right. Hey, you, go ahead. Here. No, you, you want to go ahead. I was going to say, the scriptures say, faint not to be strong in the Lord, man. That's right. So you really, you know... It's all about having that strength in Yahweh Bashmashai. That's what we make our glory in, man. We boast in Yahweh Bashmashai all the day long, not of our own selves. We boast in the power of our power, man. That's how much confidence we. That's the thing. We have confidence in the Lord because we're betting on the Lord, man. That's right. That's our only hope. You know what I'm saying? And and the thing about it is, Yahweh Bashmashai has. We have every reason to have strong confidence in Yahweh Bashmashai because there's nothing too hard for him, man. That's right, brother. You know, like earlier today, I was running a little late on the way to the altar, to the camp. And, you know, it, it, so, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to put myself on a pedestal, but someone who would lack faith, looking at the time that I was running behind and the distance I was at, they'll be like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to make it. I'm going to be late. Da -da 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 -da. I prayed to the Lord. I said, Lord, make me make it to camp on time. Baba Of sure. course, you know, Jake was pushing it, but I still made it to camp before. I still made it to camp on time, man. Right. You know, through the spirit, man. So it's the power of Yahweh Bashmashai. Ultimately, because why? I was putting my, all my trust in him, man. And that's what the Lord wants us to do. He wants us to have full trust in him in these times, man. Okay? Right. Because if you don't trust in the Lord, then the scriptures say you're not going to be defended, man. That's right. And it's impossible to please Yahweh Bashmashai without that faith, man. So if you don't have confidence in the Lord and his ability and how he can show out on your behalf, man, you're not pleasing in his sight, man. That's right. that says in Hebrews, the 11th chapter. But this is uh, 1 John 4, Sunday, so verse 17. Herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we in this world. So we, we want to have boldness in the day of judgment. But our love has to be made perfect towards the Lord, man. And if you love the Lord, you're going to keep his ways. From right. John 14 and 15. Right. It says, there is no fear in, the lo in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love, man. Right. So ultimately, if you're fearing, you know, different calamities that can come upon you, that's because you're not made perfect in the love of Yahweh Shai, man. That's right, brother. All right. And, and but if you are made perfect in the love of Yahweh Shai, you're gonna have boldness in the day of judgment. You're gonna have that confidence. You're gonna know, hey, the Lord got us, man. That's having boldness, man. That's right. A lot of people can't confidently say that the Lord got them, man. But the Wadi Yahweh Shai for giving us the ability to say that. And Abraham, we continue to believe that. You know, and, and, and fear him, man, and do that which is pleasing in his sight. Sure, you want to get that next one? And then uh, I got First Samuel already, so you oh, go just, ahead, bro. You can just get Proverbs, bro. Sure. Get up, or you want to bring out your phone? Yeah, I'll bring this out. Go ahead, bro. This is First Samuel 17, and like sure say, the things written in four time are written for our learning, man. You know, so King David, he was a man of the Lord. He perfectly feared the Lord. All right. He had perfect love for Yahweh Shemashai. Scriptures say that he was a man after the Most High's heart. And look at the confidence he had against Goliath, man. All right. This is 1 Samuel 17, starting at verse um, 30. I'll start at verse um, 32. It says, And David said to Saul, Let no man's heart fail because of him. Thy servant will go out and fight with this Philistine. You see? So David's like, Don't be worried about, uh, uh, um, you know, Goliath. And Saul said to David, Thou art not able to go against this Philistine to fight with him, for thou art but a youth, and he a man of war from his youth. So King David, he was a young man and had strong confidence in the Lord, man. And David said unto Saul, Thy servant kept his father's sheep, and there came a lion and a bear, and took a lamb out of the flock. And I went out after him, and smote him, and delivered him out of his mouth. And when he arose against me, I caught him by his beard, and smote him, and slew him. Thy servant slew both the lion and the bear, and this uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them. <laughs> Seeing he hath defied the armies of the living power, man. <laughs> David said, Moreover, the Lord that delivered me out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said to David, Go, and the Lord be with thee, man. Hey, hey let me add this. He said it before, man. All right, before he went into the uh, battle with uh, Goliath, he said, hey, the Lord had me when um, 
a bear and a lion, which are two fierce animals, man. Come on. You don't think it took faith to fight both of those animals, man? Come on. Shit, if a bear swipe you across the face one good time, your face might fly off, man. Come and I'm on. not even trying to exaggerate, okay? And if a lion catch a hold of you, man, that's it, man. But the Lord had it set up to where he bestowed upon King David the amount of faith to overcome those things, man. And Esau, he's coming. He's going to come in like a wild man sparing none. You know, he's going to come in like a wild animal, so to speak, man. Mad men sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. So we're definitely going to need that confidence and that faith in Yahweh Shem Hashanah in these times, man. Hey, brother. Hey, he says... And this uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them, man. Yep, that yep. means he had great faith. He knew the Lord was going to deliver Goliath into his hands, man. Right, man. Go ahead. So this is, uh, I'm a, I'm you, that man. was in the spirit. He was in the spirit. This is, uh, this is, uh, verse 37. Yeah, I'll, I'll skip down to, um, verse 42. And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him, for he was but a youth and ruddy and a fair countenance. So the Philistine... Goliath was looking at David like, man, who is this jit over here trying to fight me? Come on. And it says, and, Philist and the Philistine said unto David, am I a dog that thou comest to me with staves? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. And the Philistine said to David, come to me and I will give thy flesh unto the fowls of the air and to the beasts of the field. Then said David to the Philistine, thou comest to me with the sword and with the spear and with the shield. But I come to thee in the name of the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, the power of the armies of Israel, whom thou has defied. So he said, look, you coming to me with weapons. I'm coming to you in the name of the Lord, man. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, man. The righteous run into and are safe. So Call light, 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 man. It says, this day will the Lord deliver thee into mine hand, and I will smite thee and take thine head from thee, and I will give the carcasses of the host of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the air and to the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a power in Israel. Mm. You see what I'm saying? And all this assembly shall know that the Lord saveth not with sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hands, man. Right. And it came to pass when the Philistine arose and came and drew nigh to meet David, that David hasted and ran toward the army to meet the Philistine. So it said David hasted, meaning he was rushing to go uh, slay him, man. That goes to show you that he was confident in coming into that battle. Because if you're unconfident, unsure of something, you're not going to run head first into it, man. Yep. They're going to show you David had great faith at a young age, too. And David put his hand in his bag and took thence a stone and slang it and smote the Philistine in his forehead that the stone sunk into his forehead and he fell upon his forehead. Sake, he fell upon his face to the earth. So David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and with the stone and smote the Philistine and slew him. But there was no sword in the hand of David, man. All right, I'm going to show you that the Lord doesn't deliver by sword, man. Yep. No matter how many guns you got, you your guns and your weapons shouldn't be your confidence, man. Your weapons ultimately, I mean, your confidence and your weapon too should be the fear of Yahweh Shai. That's right, brother. It says, therefore David ran and stood upon the Philistine and took his sword and drew it out of his sheath thereof and slew him and cut off his head therewith. And when the Philistines saw that their champion was dead, they fled, man. All right, that's the point of that right there. So David killed Goliath with his own sword, man. All through the spirit of power of Yahweh Bashem El Shai, man. And we're praying to Yahweh Bashem that the Lord uh, have divine intervention upon us in these times too, like our forefathers, man. That's right. You know, and that all starts with the faith of the Lord. Ultimately, and you build up that faith by your fear for him, man. That's right, brother. All right, you got that Proverbs? Come on, this is Proverbs chapter 3. I'm going to start out uh, verse 25. Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked when it cometh. Mm -hmm. For the Lord shall be thy confidence Ooh. and shall keep thy foot from being taken, man. man. All right? So uh, if something happens, all right, and, uh, uh, you know, and the situation may look like you may, you know, you can't get out of it, all right? You know, like the scripture says, man, be not afraid of something fear, man. You have to believe in your mind that the Lord is going to deliver you out of that situation even when it looks like he's not, man. All right? Because, hey, what does it say? For the Lord shall be thy confidence, man. And that's the spirit and light manner that we need to be, like, uh, like, we need to come in, man. Because the Lord got his men. Yep. All right? Look at the generations of old, man. And we have to truly believe that, man. All right? Because we coming into, we are coming into those times, man. All Perilous right? times, man. A time of trouble the world has never seen before, man. That's it's right. going to be looking like the purge out here, man. That's right. All right? We're going to need the help of Yahweh Shemel Shai in these times, man. That's right, All right, baby. what else we threw?
That's right. You know, so we're 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 putting all our bets on your how about Shmel Shy, man. So you need to believe and you need to have confidence, man, because there is no other way out. All or nothing. Exactly, man. That's right. So we we putting all our eggs in this basket, so to speak, for your how about Shmel Shy to deliver us, man, and, and save us with a mighty hand. All right. And if it so be that the Lord, you know, has a setup where we die. All right, you still got to have confidence that the Lord is going to raise you up again and you're going to have the last laugh, so to speak, against your enemies, man. That's right. That's what it's all about, having the faith, man. That's right. Because the Lord, he's trying us, man. He's proving us for these times, man. All right, and in order to endure these trials and tribulations, you're going to have that faith, man. That's the scriptures right. say in Sirach, the second chapter, cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at that last end. Oh. Well, what does it mean to cleave unto the Lord? Let's get the scripture. Sirach 25 and 12. It says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of his love, and faith is the beginning of cleaving unto him, man. That's right. So if you got the fear of the Lord, you got faith, you're going to be delivered in these times. Matter of fact, we can close out with 2nd uh, Ezra 9 and 7, Bible Control. 2nd Ezra 9 and 7? Yeah, come on. We can close out with that. Lord will. You want to get that? If it's in your spirit. 2nd uh, Ezra 9 and 7. 2nd Ezra chapter 9 verse 7 and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed yep shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders where i have sanctified them for me from the beginning that's right that's right so everyone that's going to be saved is going to be uh, an, an escape from these perilous times is by what? By their faith and their works, man. That's right. All right. And if you have works towards the Lord, that means you feared him to do what he required of us. And if you have faith, that means you're going to believe that the Lord got you, man. That's no right. matter how bad it may seem. That's right. You know, you want to get the wisdom or it's 12. I mean, hey, man, we, yep. you know, we've been, we don't want to, we don't, how you say, you know. Beat a beat dead horse. Yeah, but, man, we want to be doers of this word, man. Right. Not hearers only. Right. All right, because we're going to we coming into the times where we're going to have to apply all these things that we have read, all these things that we have learned, man. All right. And whether you people believe it or not, we are at the end. Right. All right. So, man, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Yep. With that, you got anything, brother? Sit out. Hey, with that, we want to give all praise, glory, and honor to you. How about Shem, Yahweh was shy about Shem, Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that we well, and peace and blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. Till next time, Shalom and the Bible Ball. Shalom, Bible Ball.